Hey, Dr. White, can we ask you a few questions today? It would be my pleasure. What's your full name? Aaron Bradley White. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Idaho. When you were young, when what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, what did I want to be when I grew up? Um, I, I do not recall ever thinking about what I wanted to be when I grew up. I literally landed at the University of Idaho, took an introduction to art class, which uh, was interesting enough for me to take the, the art, intro to architecture class, uh, and here we are. So what was your official major? My official major was eventually architecture. Okay. What is your favorite part about being a professor? Uh, what is my favorite part about being a professor? Um, the ability to introduce new ideas to people, to discuss those ideas, um, to constantly learn about new things um, and challenge my own ways of thinking. Being from Idaho, how did you end up here? Oh boy, that's a long story. Uh, so yeah, born and raised in Idaho. Um, I, I then, I did, a I did a bachelor's degree of architecture at University of Idaho. I then moved to New York and did a master's degree in architecture and lived there for 20 years practicing and that's where I started teaching. And as a part of that, I did a PhD in architecture at Columbia University and then landed here three years ago uh, when they had an opening for a history theory position. What was your favorite thing about living in New York? Oof, uh, the people. Uh, you meet people from all over the world. Um, it's a very charged environment. Um, there were a lot of opportunities that I probably wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Any advice for incoming students? Uh, well, students vary so much. I mean, uh, Advice for students. Some students need to chill out. Some need to tighten up. Some need to. Um, I you know I don't know if there's a one size fits all. I would say there's no right way to be a student, um, uh, but to be serious about it. What's your favorite MSU tradition? Um, I have to say, when I arrived here, I had no experience with the whole pageantry around football games and things of this nature. And the first one I went to, I was, I'm, I'm still pretty enamored with just the community that sort of gathers around the junction. I mean, you know, people coming back together after sometimes like one night from 30 years ago, still showing yeah, up. Yeah, it's pretty games. interesting. <laughs> yeah, I had never been part of anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy to me. What do you miss most about being a student? Uh, well, I, I still am a student. Um, I am a better student today <laughs> than I probably was when I was in college. Uh, I'm uh, learning things and every single time I teach a class, uh, I actually, one of the courses I teach is history of architecture. I always joke with them that I'm more confused than they are about what architecture is and what architecture can do. So yeah, I don't I, I think maybe I'm still a student. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, lots of things. I, I read a lot. Um, I exercise. I like uh, working in my yard, which I never had in New York. It's, uh, that was a surprise. Um, yeah, those sorts of things. What's your favorite book? Ooh, one favorite book. Uh, um, Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian comes to mind, but also like uh, Alice in Wonderland. What's your favorite thing about Starkville besides your yard? <laughs> mm. um, little Dewey is good. Uh, I mean, s small, the, the sort of small town community after living in a, uh, you know, I lived in Brooklyn, New York for, for two decades. So uh, the small town community, I think I'd probably appreciate it in ways that maybe people who are from here wouldn't, wouldn't even. What makes this college unique? Um, I think, I think there's an intimacy to the college. Um, I, and what I mean by that is, I, you know, I get students many, many times over the course of their careers here. So I coordinate first year design. So I, I have all the first year students. Then I get them, I see them again in my second year history of architecture class. And then I also teach in the fifth year program. So I'm seeing them at different points in their career. And like this week, uh, we've had final final reviews all week in the, in the School of Architecture, and I'm in those reviews, you know, seeing them yet again. So I, 
I get to come across them many, many times over the course of their career, and we get to en engage each other in lots of different ways. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Oh, uh, always coffee. What's your favorite spot on campus? Uh, it depends. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, it's Giles Auditorium, because that's where my history course is. Then in the afternoons, it's the barn, because that's where the whole school basically gets together to do studio. And uh, not during those times, probably right here in my office. Well, that's all the questions we have for you today. Thank you for answering. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.